All right, guys, today we're going Greek. Not really, inspired by Greek at least. Today we're gonna to be making a simple tzatziki sauce and chicken lemon pita wraps. It's gonna be delicious. Let's get started. The tzatziki sauce is gonna to need to refrigerate for a little while, so we're gonna go ahead and start that first, and then we'll get working on the chicken. You're gonna need 10 ounces of plain Greek yogurt. And I just bought the little containers because they're five ounces, so that works. And this is, uh, it was like one medium cucumber that I diced up into medium, small pieces, maybe about a cup if you wanna measure it. I'm gonna need a teaspoon of fresh dill. So I have a little sprig here and I'll just chop that up real quick. Mm. I just love the smell of fresh dill. It uh, definitely has a waftability factor and uh, I'm eyeballing it, about a teaspoon. That should be good. I'm gonna need one clove of garlic that's been minced. I'm using my fancy garlic press because I am the epitome of lazy when it comes to that, so. And two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. That's it for the ingredients. So just give this a good stir. Let's do a little salt and pepper to taste here. All right, and that's it. It doesn't need to be in the fridge for a long time, but let's just put it in there. We'll make the chicken, and by the time the chicken is done, this should be good to go. Okay, so for the chicken, it's really easy. All you're gonna need is two teaspoons of oregano, and two teaspoons of lemon zest. Just give that a stir. Once you get the chicken, the lemon zest, and the oregano mixed up here, now all you gotta do is get your skillet going to medium high heat. You're gonna need four teaspoons of olive oil. Just put that into the pan here and get that preheating. If your pan is too small, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have all the chicken in an even layer. So you might have to do two batches just so that you can get a nice golden brown on all the chicken. Um, otherwise, it's not gonna really brown. It'll steam and uh, it'll taste fine, but it'll look different. So it's up to you. Chicken goes in, I'm gonna do half. We'll see if we can get that to... Mm, that smells good. So while that first layer is going, I'm just gonna salt and pepper this top layer. And that is really, it is all to taste. I don't want to tell you how much to add because it really is how much, however much you feel like it needs. Um, I know a lot of people get frustrated with that, but it's really important that you, you learn to find out what kind of taste that you're looking for and adjust these recipes to your liking. We're about halfway through the cooking time right now. Everything's starting to look really good. It smells amazing. And the chicken's just starting to brown. So just keep on going and we're in the home stretch. Okay, got my, uh, got my toasted flatbread here. Gonna put on some chicken. And you could put on some fresh tomato too. That would be great. I'm trying to keep the ingredients low. This is all you need to get the flavor you're looking for. Well, there you have it, an easy Greek-inspired dish. Everybody's gonna love it. Enjoy.